like somebody like kicking the keister. Poked me is what happened. Okay, like on your hand. Yeah, like somebody kind of would just take like a like a like a like a uh, toothpick and kind of go. Boop. That's what just like right on my hand. Well, and Do I you just, feel water. I just felt no, not water, but something, I, there's like something weird like right here. Well, I, I was, felt something on the back of my neck, which is why I looked to see. Well, is there like a spider web? Because that's exactly what it felt like. You poke me in the finger or the side of my hand here. Did you touch the back of my neck? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the birthplace of America, home to the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence and Constitution were signed. So much history, and some say a lot of ghosts. The unexplained team traveled to the city of brotherly love to investigate several paranormal hotspots known to be haunted by the spirits from the Revolutionary War of famous business owners and politicians some really crazy dressed apparitions, and possibly a pirate too. Not a lot of places have a word in their name twice, but the Morton Morton House in Norwood, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philly, isn't like most places. This building was constructed way back in 1750 by Morton Morton. Yes, that's the dude's name. He was the great-grandson of Martin Martinson. Morton Morton was the first cousin to John Morton, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Over the years, the building has gone through many renovations. The Morton Morton House is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. We certainly have established it is old and historic, but what about haunted? Donna claims it is, so we wanted to experience it for ourselves. Gear in hand, we began the investigation. I thought, heard the EVP, so it, it totally was like wiping from my memory. Leah's memory was a little spotty on it. So, you know, came back, and I, I got an EVP coming in the door, this place is haunted. Yeah. The EVP said this place? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, next time we came back, I went downstairs, and I'm getting this woman's voice who had talked both times that I was here. Saying no, 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 no. So apparently she didn't want me to go down there. So that was before the EVP was first. No, that was after. That was my second visit. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I, I do kind of think something is down there that is not happy. The rest of the house I thought was happy. Right. But if there is a haunted type, I do kind of think it's in that basement. Right. Upstairs, we captured a couple of hits on our equipment. Unfortunately, Hello? yeah, nothing too substantial. Here? Donna used her rods again to try and get some answers about the ghosts that haunt the house. Somebody's here. Somebody's I can here begin. Go right ahead, please. Okay. Yeah, go, feel, go for it. Because, <laughs> my um, goodness. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Donna. That was me. Oh. Uh, I have a small paranormal group called Philly Ghost Hunt. And I've been here a couple of times, so hopefully... Um, I am uh, going to meet some of the wonderful people that I met before, the lovely lady, um, who was, was uh, so helpful. Um, and I brought along two friends today. This is Darren, and this is Rick. Hello. Uh, and they are uh, here to do some investigating. They have uh, unexplained cases. Um, it's a show, and uh, so, we wanted to do a video because you, you guys were so wonderful and this house is so wonderfully historic and beautiful and everyone here is so great and we were hoping that we could make some communication um, so uh, please thank you for welcoming me and, and thank you for wel welcoming us back it is so wonderful um, these are dowsing rods and these are one way we can communicate uh, so please be patient if you already know, in case anyone is new and we haven't met. Um, I will ask, we will all ask a series of yes and no questions. 
And if you move the rods wide, and I know that you have the rods already, yes, you open them wide, uh, the answer will mean yes. If you close them and cross them, if we ask the question and you do not agree or your answer is no or it's just not the case, you can make an X, yeah, cross them. Um, if you hold them straight ahead, it might mean that you uh, have no answer, uh, that it's not applicable, or you're ready to move on, it's not something you'd like to talk about. And I notice your, my left hand is shaking. And I, that happens, and it's not my being nervous. Um, it's my adjusting to an energy. And it, it means you really want my left hand to do something. And that's, that's the um, second way we can use the dowsing rod. So I'm presuming, Darren. So I'm presuming that, that we've, we've met before. And I'm presuming that you, uh, I'm Rick. That's Hello. Rick. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and that happens. That's me adjusting to energy and they're moving me and I just have to, we're, we're, we're getting acquainted. Yeah. That's, yes, that, are. that's the shaking. Um, and, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I just forgot what I was saying. What? All right. Um, Okay, I'm drawing a blank now. Okay. So there, you're, you're, you're tall. Uh, this is a man. You're tall. All right, you're getting up here. Yeah, you're tall. You're almost my height. Yeah, you just pointed to you and Darren. Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it was only me. Um, I'm female, but, but today we have two men here. And uh, perhaps uh, Mr. Morton. Morton. Um... Temperature adjustment. Yeah, I just I, but I don't got the gauge on it, so I don't know why why you would do that. I should have that So oh, uh, I, I have the dowsing rods, and oh, that, what I was saying, I came back to me. If you'd like me to go to a certain place or move a certain way, you can certainly we can use one rod as you're doing, and you can point it out and we can move, and you can go ahead and nudge me and pull my arm exactly. You got it, and I'm going to follow where you want me to go. Uh, Darren and Rick have a lot of equipment, and it's, you see it, okay. You, can you set it off? They kind of measure things um, a little bit differently, and I don't know if you can use your energy to set it off, but you can make it light up and, and do all kinds of things. You want to keep it still? Okay. I mean, you don't have to focus on it, but certainly to you. Darren? Hello. Oh, what's in his hand? Oh, maybe you guys could explain what you're holding. Because that's, yeah. He... Yeah, this is a camera, and we're taking pictures, and things called video around the house. I'm not sure how old you are. Do we know if this person is... 200 years old? Well, yes. Yeah, so moving pictures. Moving I had, pictures. I had done it before, yeah. And uh, and that little fuzzy thing, that's a microphone. Exactly. And, and I have a light different on one, but which, similar. Which and then we, we both have, have to blind you, but lights. we both have lights. This one, yeah. 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 And sometimes we'll use them, and sometimes we'll turn them off. Matter of fact, if you could put your energy around that device right there, that way you could make yourself known to us also, like the dowsing rods. I'm not sure if you can do that or not. There's numbers on there. If you could make the numbers go up with your energy, we'd appreciate that. I think you prefer my hand, dear. Is that? Yeah. Is you know, old-fashioned? Yeah. But you do, you are very curious, and you're very curious about this, too. And we can come back to it too, and you can you can oh, work with it. Oh, here we go. We got point one. Thank you. You can work with it. Thank you for trying to make the move the numbers move on there. So uh, I know that there are several people in here. Yeah. Um, can you? You you got you really are 
Tristan, do you want me to look at it, or do you want to get a little closer? Is there something you're looking for over here? Though? You want to get closer? Is it so? Do you want to see the camera, or is it? Is there something on the wall? No, he wants to see the camera. I, I wants me to go over there. That's it. Knocking is the table. Knocking on the table? Or you oh, do you no, want no, no. him to come to the table? I was identifying that we're shaking this table. Oh. I just wanted to make a reference. So you, you really like it, huh? You like, the, you like those cameras? Yeah, it's probably nothing you've ever seen before. Yeah, I didn't have, I don't have that. I don't use that, no. It's okay. All right, you're good. All right. I, I know that there are several people here, and so hopefully uh, everyone can come and speak again. Um, and I know, you know, many of you were very happy here, uh, but yes, but I know someone wasn't. And I know that you really didn't want, someone here didn't want me to get too involved with that, yeah, that person. Mm -hmm. So um, I hope that you, the other way to communicate, of course, and we did this before, is the uh, digital voice recorder, and I have one in my pocket too. Um, so hopefully you can leave me more wonderful messages. And I think I mentioned that I learned a new word. I was very excited about that, yeah. Um, not excited though, however, for the meaning. I, let me <laughs> back up. I'm, I'm sorry that that occurred. That was not, uh, I'm sure, of a very good, um, what would we call it, incident. Mm, um, yeah. And I think, and think we talked about maybe there were some things that occurred here that, that were not good and maybe could have been hurtful. And um, we, we said we're probably not uh, part of life, but not, not a good part, that's for sure. And uh, I think I, I asked if everyone was okay and had moved on from it. And, and the answer was yes, yeah. So there was some kind of incident that we, yeah, had uncovered. And it did involve a, a woman, and I think you were here, yeah. And a man. And, and we wondered if he was a pirate. Yeah. Strong, he yes. He was, yeah. And he, he was someone that, that, that kind of came in from the, the, the river, yeah. Hear that? I heard that. I'm not sure what it was, but it's yeah, Did you guys do that? Like a knock or something. Did right? you make that knock? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, there is so much wonderful and historic here. Uh, my question was, are you, uh, are you Mr. Morton's daughter? Yes. Oh, strong yes. Okay, so were, were you, I know he had two daughters, correct? Yeah, and uh, were, you, were you the daughter of it that passed away young? In, in the, uh, yeah, okay. And you were young, so very sorry that um, that happened. And uh, I, I hope that you are with your family and uh, you, uh, you, you mentioned that you are happy, you are okay now, so that's a good thing. Um, may I ask, uh, was your passing of, of natural causes uh, of an illness? Okay, w was it, was there any violence involved with it? Oh, there was, okay. Hi, this is a steel box, it's kind of like the one that I had, just works a little differently. Is there anyone here who would like to speak? Rick. Rick? Hmm? Hello. What's up? How you doing? I'm Donna. Hi. Thank you for coming to talk to us. I hope that you like us visiting you today. Yeah. Good. How many are with us right here in the attic? Ten. 
800. Are so, you playing with us and teasing us? Somebody here a prankster. Is everybody saying their name? I was going to say, we could have a roll call. Everybody could sh share their name. Let's just say there are a lot of people here. So what's the name of the gentleman who's on the floor below us? Or the name of the ladies downstairs? Doesn't sound like anybody wants to talk anymore. Yeah. Do you know my name? Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Well, I'm going to turn this off now, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's always nice to hear that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, we, we, were you, was everybody like saying their name at one point? Okay, so there are a lot of people here. Okay. Okay, can we go downstairs? Are we good to do that? Okay. All right. Are you okay to go down the steps? See, I'm great. I'm yeah, see, I told you I fit in these. these I want to make sure that you have some light, though. No, I'm good. Yeah. Oh. See, of course, this works for double purpose. Gives us light, also makes nice to be real. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to be funny is since I didn't hear Darren's name, if he actually is no longer here, so then I was saying he was down below, and, and <laughs> nobody was here, so. Darren? No, he's not. He's <laughs> not there. I was like, I think he went downstairs, he so I was like, mm-hmm. Who's down below? No one. Yeah. He's not there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Well, um, somebody's behind me, though. Wow. Yeah. So let me ask. Uh, mm. We're going to go down to the basement. And I, I know you guys were not really in favor of that. So, give it a try. Okay. And, and please do share with me, because I know someone down there is not happy. Is that correct? Do they, oh, do they stay down there? Yeah, okay. So they don't go through the house. Um, no. Do you guys... Does anyone stay here all the time? I think we got that, yeah. Um, in various places in the house, I think you pointed it out to me. Um, and he stays down there. And you guys really weren't too thrilled with my going down there. That's correct. Does he, he's not good to interact with. Is that it? No. Okay. Well, we wanted to go down once. Um, and you recommend doing it? Neutral answer? Uh, no. 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 Uh, would, would you be offended if we did it? No. No offense. Well, uh, well he, he won't follow us or anything, will he? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. 
well, well, we'll go. It was just really to, for these guys to go down there and kind of check it out. He won't bother you guys, will he? No. no. Never. Okay. But you don't, you don't mix with them. No. Very curious as to what his yeah. story is. Would you tell us? And I have a feeling I know the answer to that. No, nope. She went before. And I'm assuming he's not going to tell us either. Is that correct? But it was downstairs when things got a little crazy. Donna says legend has it that something is down in this dark and dusty basement. A murderer from a past life. Some even believe it could be an evil pirate. If it were true, that makes for a great story. It didn't take long into our investigation before things got a little weird. He's, I'm not sure he's heard well. So I'm you, sure. you, I was gonna say, did you did you hear? So, um, okay. well, we'll talk about it. I want to see what we get. That's fine. That's fine. Hold that thought. So this is a 40. It's going up. Different different energy down. 30. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I said I just like it was heat in my head. We got some little fan there, yeah. So, uh, something to do with this well? Maybe? No. Oh. Well, see, I would have said yes, so, but I'm also uh, curious what you guys are going to say. goes out to the storm cellar. And that, I guess, looks like the chimney. Interesting structure. Yeah, you're right. Although there was a fire, there were fireplaces on this side too. Usually on both sides of the yeah. house, right? Yeah. So it certainly so this could. This is be. the original floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Walking on a lot of history here. Yeah. My understanding is that there is someone here who uh, really uh, is not thrilled that we're here. And am I speaking to him? No, he's not going to speak to us. That's correct. Um, my understanding is he really doesn't want to stay down here. And he stays down here and he is not happy. What is that? That was upstairs. Yeah. Phone. He does not want to stay down here. Can a rod 
point to where he's at right now. Straight ahead. Have something to do with the uh, well? Mm. Yeah. So when we said, was there anything going on with that well? And no answer was a little bit of a decoy? Ah. Mm. Ah. Yeah, because we kind of thought. This is this is not a good place. Just a little room down here. Should I be direct? Be direct. Okay. Um, initially, my very first visit, I encountered you, um, and I, I guess I am so bold to du direct you, uh, direct my my conversation to you, because uh, I've been cautioned not to speak to you directly. And I am here in peace. I don't wish to disturb you. I simply am curious. Um, you, you have a very growly tone to your voice. You sound very angry at me. And you, said, you, you mockingly said the word crucifix. So I take it that you do not like or appreciate a crucifix. Um, are you someone who lived here? Did you commit a crime here? You stay here all the time, I've been told, and no one mixes with you. Is your uh, penance to be down here on your own? If that is a direct question, please don't answer it if it is offensive. Yes. Okay. Well, I do appreciate the fact that you have spoken to us. Thank you. want to be disturbed. In fact, people cautioned me not to come down here. They didn't want me to. So they are quite uncomfortable with you. I, I had a little incident with my memory the first time I was down here. Did you cause that? You did. Yeah. Second time I came down, you know, I knew. So, uh, yeah, not not to uh, disrespect your space in any means. Any questions? I guess I would have. One question, if penance is being here and a crime was committed, did you murder anyone? Did you murder someone who lived here? Is that person buried there? No. Is that where the murder happened?
This is like falling straight down to here. So that's where it occurred? Was it, uh, you are a male. I know that. Uh, was it a female that you murdered? Yeah. Was it, uh, Mr. Morton's daughter? You're not answering. Were you a pirate in life? And did you Did you want to try a spirit box? This is another tool that we use. You can speak through it. Would you speak to, to us through it? Yeah. You want to use it? Did you say what? Okay. Oh, what? Would you be willing to use it? Are you asking us what we want down here? Uh, we're just curious. We came to do a little investigating in the house and communicate. And we uh, down here came upon um, whatever had occurred. And, wanted to know about it if you would know. My guess is that sound is irritating you. Yes? Hmm. You just don't want to uh, discuss it with us any further than what you have. Would you give us your name? What country were you from? What did you have against the crucifix? You have something against the crucifix? You do. Anything that represents good makes you angry. Are you angry with us? Because we've come down and disturbed your space. Okay. No, we're sorry, we will leave. We didn't mean to, to do that. Well, we're about to leave, so I would be surprised if we didn't get a... Uh, it's like somebody like... Kick in the keister. Poked me is what happened. Okay, like on your hand? Yeah, like somebody kind of would just take like a... Like a like a like a uh, toothpick, and kind of go. Boop. That's what just like right on my hand. Well, and Do I you just, feel water? I just felt no, not water, but something, I, there's like something weird, like right here. Well, I, I was, felt something on the back of my neck, which is why I looked to see. Well, is there like a spider web? Because that's exactly what it felt like. But uh, there's not a spider web whatsoever. Well, first, I thought there was water dripping on me, which obviously there's no water. There's no water. But then it felt like somebody kind of poked me with a toothpick. And so, and you guys think this dude is not very happy? 
and no, this would jovial. be this is a pissed off pirate. Let's at least go with that. Well, you don't meet very many good pirates. Yeah. Usually, if you meet a pirate, it's a bad thing. Or met a pirate, I should say, since we really don't have like old school uh, pirates anymore. We don't know if he like buried his treasure. Maybe there's a uh, loot under the house. But he seems to be down here. Yeah, he just—he gave me a little. Yes. It's hard to say. Well, so. The first, uh, a Did quest. you have a treasure in here? Oh, Did you bury a treasure in here? No. Is this your personal hell? Yes. Going old school. Yeah. Bit of an obvious answer there, but. Yeah. He, uh, it, it seems as if he is down here, and they, he doesn't mix with everyone else in the house, and they caution me to, not to come down here. In fact, sent me an EVP saying, no, no, no. So they really didn't want me to come down, but I, I uh, kind of feel like this is part of the house and um, part of the history, so, you know, I'm not frightened. I'm, here to investigate, and that's that's what I'll do. Okay. Well, again, well, we I think, know, I think we you're making a little bit of strategy. connection because the uh, I had well, it's going down now, but it, 9.4, it's spiking 15.9, 0.9, 1.2. It had gone all the way up to like 25. I just couldn't get my damn camera on fast enough. 5.6, so 1.3. There was nothing here when I walked through earlier before you guys got down here. 0.8. Mm -hmm. 1.4. See if your K2 will go off at all right there. No, it's down to 0.9, but it was, it was like well, 20. Well, he pointed to that spot on the wall. Well, that's where he pulled me right here. That he pointed to that. Did something happen over there as well? No, the only thing, uh, I, I had wait, nothing going you're on. you're hitting me in the back of the head. Now it's down to zero. So it, went, it spiked up to like 24 and then. So did somebody hit their head over here? 2 0. Something's going on yes. right on this spot right here. Whoa. Good. Yes. He said somebody hit their head over there. He, well, did you see what, what he did with the... Uh, yes. Like, and the, right. What did you do? He hit my head. Yeah. Somebody hit their head over, head over there, right? Was that an accident? Look at that. Did you do that? Yes. Is that how you murdered the person? Was it a fight? A struggle? Yeah. Did you just touch Darren? Sort of, maybe? Oh, that's a bit. Yeah, yes. Sort of over here by me. Did you poke me in the finger or the side of my hand here? Did you touch the back of my neck? Were you the one that was making the numbers go up on this device right here in my hand? Could you do it again? Okay. Mm, so you're the one that was making the numbers go up. Uh, Can you use your energy to do that again? Oh, well, drain my battery. I was about to say, you're getting a hard no. So was there a struggle? She fought back. I guess that made you angrier. Did you intend to take her life? There's somebody else in here. Oh. So did it happen as a result of the struggle and you did it unintentionally? Or did you just get angrier and angrier because probably you made advances that she declined? So advances moved to force. All right, so let's review. A pirate tries to put the moves on a young woman. She rejects him, and in a rage, he kills her. 
And for that crime, he is forced to exist in this location he killed her and not interact with any other spirits. Sounds like hell to me. Something right here in this corner, I don't know what. He said this is where she passed away. 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.0, 0.7, 0 0.3. Something right in this area. It spiked. I didn't have the camera on, but it was up at 4.1. And sorry, just full on the camera. Say again? Uh, oh, the camera's full? Yes, the camera's full. <laughs> uh, of course. You got this 1.3. If you want to roll, 3.3. It's right here, dude, in this area. There was a 4.1. And now it's down to 0.1, but it's fluctuating between zero up to four now. It's going. Are you still here with me? Are you the one that's messing with the thing here? So definitely EMF going on down here. But look, I'm right up to the wiring and there's nothing. Yeah. So I'm touching the wiring and the wall and so whatever was making it. <coughs> well, point one, are you back? Is this the pirate? Who's here? Anybody else who gets a track? Are you making me sneeze? That's an unusual question. Yes, you are. <laughs> Right in my notes. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but he says it is. I don't know if that's possible, but I don't know if that's possible, but I don't know if that's possible, but is that your way of trying to get us to leave? Probably the most conversation he's had. Oh, and back back to here again. He is very. <coughs> He also tried to interact with us. First, I was touched on the hand. Rick then thought he encountered spider webs that weren't there. And lastly, Donna began uncontrollably coughing, which she attributed to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've been here for a long time. Have you had any kind of experiences that made you go, ooh, boy, that was kind of weird? Usually, um, if we haven't been here for a while, um, we've noticed some things being moved. Um, we used to have, we used to have a Confederate hat hanging where some of the other hats are, and the Confederate hat never stayed on the hook. We would put it up there, we would make sure it was nice and secure. Every time we came in, it was on the floor, and none of the other hats would fall. And we would change position, we would put it where other hats had been, it always fell. Um, we've noticed some uh, plates moved, we've noticed, um, Mostly like crockery things moved, um, a few candlesticks, but everyone would say, oh, did you move that the last time you hear it? It's like someone was, we were always looking for an explanation. Um, and then just sometimes when you're here in the summer, when we give our, lect when we give our tours, you're usually here alone. Um, but myself and my sister, um, I've never felt alone here. And that was even, I mean, my husband passed away three years ago. Now I know he's here, but he comes when I come. But he leaves when I leave, I think. But um, I've just, don't, I've never felt alone here. And I've never felt unsafe. I've always felt very comfortable and safe here. It's a pretty cool historic place. I mean, just, it's just, just looking around. When I think of all the years, I mean, from 1750 and the different stories that went through this house, and as I said, in the late 50s and 60s, there was a family that were sort of squatters. It was a widow with some children, and they never paid the borough any rent or anything. And um, 
you know, I sort of thought, well, she found it as a safe haven for whatever period of time she was here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, from different writings and, I guess, stories passed on, um, the seven, I believe there were seven slaves that were here were treated with somewhat dignity. I mean, I guess as much dignity as you can if you own a human being. But um, And um, we understand he did teach them to read and write, even though it was against the law. And Caesar was the older slave who he gave property to to um, have his own farm. Um, when he initially did that, he didn't give him his freedom because they were still kidnapping people and taking them free slaves. Right. But in his will, he freed them. But he didn't free the children. And the children were given to his grandchildren mm -hmm. um, because, and we just surmise, and over the years people have said he felt that they would be safer, they were small, right. they would be safer and would be, um, you know, would be educated. So I always thought there was, for the most part, a uh, good feeling in this house. Besides a pirate, do Revolutionary War soldiers or former homeowners haunt this legendary location outside Philadelphia? We'd need more time to determine who, but without a doubt, there is energy within the building's walls that seems to be from another dimension. Philadelphia, home to legendary football fans, freedom, cheesesteak sandwiches, Rocky, and clearly ghosts. During our visit, we gathered some compelling evidence that made the trip to the city of brotherly love well worth it. Reporting for Unexplained Cases in Philadelphia, I'm Darren Dito.